to implement physical security deterrence types of countermeasures, we'll use fences, warning signs, security guards, and guard dogs. These are deterrence because the attacker sees these physical security components, these countermeasures that we have in place, and they are deterred from actually ever initiating the attack. The goal of a deterrent is to stop the attack before it starts. So the four areas where you can improve the deterrence relative to physical security are to increase the effort required to commit the crime. This means make it more difficult for the bad guy to actually violate the physical security of your organization. Increase the risk associated with the crime. In other words, make sure the guy understands he's probably going to get caught. We would do this with uh, uh, surveillance and um, a well-trained well -trained, uh, security guard staff, things along these lines. We would also then reduce the rewards of the crime. In other words, convince the bad guy there are no juicy targets here. There's nothing great for you to steal here, so just leave us alone. And finally, remove the excuses. If a guy says, well, gee, I didn't know I wasn't allowed to go in there, this is because you didn't have signs up that says, warning, uh, private property, uh, trespassers will be prosecuted. So these are four branches of deterrence that you can implement to help reduce the likelihood that a crime will occur.